Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here in Jerusalem, usual location. Um, I want to do a video on uh, today, August 2022, showing uh, some of the shows that are up there on Netflix and on other streaming services. If you are attempting, like me, to learn Hebrew from scratch or improve your Hebrew, particularly uh, your vocab, your Otsar Milim. Um, in my experience, both learning Hebrew and having learned gotten better in my time at a couple of other languages um, learning a language through television is one of the best and most effortless ways to learn it now I'm talking about learning through Hebrew audio the target language audio dialogue and subtitles in your native language so for me in English um, if you are more advanced some pe I've heard of some folks some I have a couple of friends who are really really high level in Hebrew um, very impressive stuff and they can even learn through Hebrew audio, Hebrew subtitles, because if you know nine out of 10 words and there's one out of 10 words you don't know, you can see it subtitled and look that up in the dictionary. But I think that's a more useful language learning method for um, advanced people, people who already have a very, very strong basis. Uh, just to say something as well, and that's that the, the reason I put these videos up on YouTube and occasionally post lists on the Hebrew subreddit is because there just isn't a huge amount of material to work with in Hebrew. Um, there's always more coming out there, being produced, but relative to English content that's subtitled in Hebrew, which is amazing for Israelis who want to learn English, there just isn't that much Hebrew content that gets subtitled to, to English. The reason is kind of obvious because, you know, Hebrew is only the main language in Israel with 10 million people. Uh, it makes much more sense for foreign shows um, to uh do, sorry for big international productions to subtitle into local languages to access those markets so it's not that there isn't content but it's just not as uh it's not as much content out there as there is in the other direction so with that intro aside i'm going to jump here into my screen and i'm just going to show you guys what some of the options as of august 2022 bearing in mind that i am recording this video from israel the content you see on netflix is going to differ a bit based on what geography you are in so this is not intended as sort of sort of an exhaustive overview just a quick heads up for what's out there um also because of copyright i'm not able to trying to avoid playing these clips i'm just going to talk about them for a minute in case they're unfamiliar to show you guys uh, what shows are out there found number one now in terms of because we're talking here about watching these shows for the purpose purpose of learning hebrew i would put fauda into tier two Fauda is about a unit in the Israeli police called the Mist Aravim, which means those who are mixed among Arabs and they go, they're a plainclothes unit that goes undercover behind enemy lines. It's a pretty grisly show about their work on the West, in the West Bank. Now, it is a fictitious show. It's apparently based on real experiences on the uh, part of the producers. Um, but uh, so as I said, it's diluted in its utility for learning Hebrew because so much of the dialogue is in Palestinian Arabic, Amiya. Uh, but there's a little bit in Hebrew. So put this as a uh, number two. And if you like that kind of uh, war, war, grisly war stuff, I personally uh, find it a little bit too stressful. Hashotera Tov is the second one that I'm uh, going to talk about. This is also available for me on Israeli Netflix. I believe it's also accessible right now from the US. Uh, Hashotera Tov translates literally as the good police. Uh, this is kind of a satirical one. It's kind of a comedy um, about the life of a policeman called Danny who has moved in with his parents and uh, it kind of centers around their antics in the police station, the Tachana Mishtara. Um, that's out there. You know, I'm, I'm not going to give you my, my personal feelings about all these shows um, because this isn't also one that I'm crazy about. But if you're interested in kind of a little bit uh, um, more, I was going to say slapstick humor then uh this could be something uh you enjoy the beauty queen of jerusalem is really interesting this one came out more recently um it's about a family living in the period of what's called the old yeshuv in other words living in israel before the state was founded in 1948 particularly they show various historical eras the ottoman empire um israel just before the state was founded in 48 and uh, through the foundation of the state um it's kind of a love story kind of a feel to it i'm having a hard time getting into it but if you're interested in the history of israel 
uh, I think this would be a great one to watch. And as I said, all these, to the best of my knowledge, all these are subtitled in English. That's why I'm showing them. Um, if there is one that I'm unsure about, if it's subtitled in English, I will say that. But I've, I've checked everything so far. Stiesel is uh, another good one. Uh, this is um, centers around a uh, Haredi uh, young man called Akiva who lives in a neighborhood of Jerusalem called Geula. That's very orthodox. One caveat again about the linguist linguistic value here is that the ultra-Orthodox or Haredi community in Israel speak Yiddish quite a lot. So there's a bit of dialogue in Yiddish, but not too much. Still, I think good language learning, vocabulary building potential from this particular show uh, called Stiesel. Um, three seasons are up here on Israeli Netflix. I think the third season came out in America before here, which is a bit weird, uh, but that's how the interesting world of international TV rights works, I guess. Uh, Mossad 101, let me jump back to the Netflix here. So this is about um, uh, the recruitment process. It's not a real, it's not a real show. It's a, it's a, it's a, fi it's a work of fiction, but it's uh, the recruitment process for the Mossad, which as is well known, is Israel's external intelligence agency. There are two seasons of this, a little bit older, 2017, but uh, that's up there also. When Heroes Fly is another one. Um, about three Israeli guys in Colombia trying to find, I'm actually not 100% sure about the plot line on this, so uh, trying to find a uh, Yaeli, I think, um, and uh, that's it. So this is another uh, kind of dramatic show. Uh, 10 episodes uh, up here, as as you can see, I'm sort of in the, pro watch it every now and again. So that was Netflix. Now, um, there's also some shows up on at YouTube, I've done a video before um, about Israeli stuff on YouTube, and I've mentioned that Israel's national broadcaster, which is called Can in English, it's spelled K A N. Um, in Hebrew, it's uh, spelled like that. Formerly known as the, it's Israel's national state broadcaster. Now they have terrific YouTube channels with a lot of stuff subtitled in Hebrew. Less of it gets subtitled to English, but certain shows, as I mentioned that they think have international appeal, they will add English subtitles. One of those is called The Jews Are Coming in Hebrew, Hayehudim Ba'im. And uh, this is uh, kind of a satire. It's, 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 it sounds weird. It's the satire of the characters of the Tanakh, of the Bible, and their interactions. It's kind of con slightly controversial because some religious people think it's belittling um, the, you know, the, the biblical narrative and all that stuff. Uh, you can make that determination for yourself, uh, but it is up there on uh, YouTube, and this will this is again this is a pretty good reservoir from a language learning perspective of Hebrew audio with English subtitles. Now here the cha here's a channel I just came across this week with the very kind help of uh, the R Hebrew subreddit, which is a subreddit for people learning Hebrew. I do recommend uh, checking in there if you are also learning. This is actually really interesting. I wish there was like many more channels like this. It's a guy called Ilya who is originally from Russia but made Aliyah move to Israel at a young age. The channel's called Ir Lechiotba, which means in English, a livable city. And as the name suggests, it's actually about urbanism and Israel's approach to urbanism. Not every single video, because I went through the channel in quite extensively yesterday, not every single video has he added English subtitles to yes, but for most of them he has, and I can tell Ilya, uh, it's so appreciated, I know, because I've done it a few times myself, how much work subtitling videos into another language is. Um, unfortunately, there aren't enough people like Ilya in the world, uh, but uh, this is a good resource again, so I think what's fun is to mix it up, like if you really want to immerse yourself in Hebrew content, watch a bit of Fauda and kind of dip into, uh, you know, something a bit more lightweight, like a Shoter Tov, and then watch some documentaries and informative stuff like this. And again, the only real problem that um, I would identify as a Hebrew language learner is that there just isn't enough content. If there was 20 YouTube channels and 40 shows on Netflix, it would be better. But uh, there are new productions coming all the time, as I mentioned. Um, one more YouTube channel to, throw, to mention out there, and it's called Piece of Hebrew. Now, unlike everything I've shown before, this is actually intended as a 
teaching resource, you know, language learning resource. So this is a couple, uh, there is, I can't remember their names, unfortunately. I remember the guy's name is Doron. Um, I'm blanking out here on, I think, I assume it's his wife or girlfriend. Uh, she originally came from France and she speaks amazing Hebrew. And they do these really good videos where they just talk about stuff, you know, it's a vlog or they're going to the sea and they talk amongst themselves, but they subtitle it in English. So these guys, I've watched almost all their videos. They've been a tremendous resource. I know they're trying to get a paid course going. So I um, definitely recommend checking that out. And if you want to take it further, um, check out what they're saying about their course. Now, here's what I posted on Reddit. I'm going to put myself uh, down here a little bit ago, uh, earlier this week, in fact. I've covered in this video most of these, Hachotera, Tov, Fauda, Shtisel. Um, I didn't mention Our Boys because it's not on Netflix. This one um, I find available through SBS, which is Australia's broadcasting service, and they have uh, all of it, all 10 episodes. And this is probably the best Israeli TV uh, I've seen. I enjoyed every minute of it, thought it was excellent. So uh, if you have a VPN, I mean, don't, uh, you know, don't, don't try to bypass content restrictions. But uh, if you live in Australia and you have access to SBS Stream On Demand, Our Boys is up there. Um, on Apple TV USA, I wrote Fauda here. I actually meant Tehran. Uh, Tehran is, again, something I'd call a second-level resource because so much of the, di the, the dialogue is in Farsi. So it's not that much Hebrew dialogue, but there's a little bit. Um, there's also a streaming service called Chai Films. I hadn't, must admit I hadn't really heard much about them. There is quite a funny Israeli show called uh, Kupar Rashid, um, which means the uh, main catch register operator and this is a skit about the kind of chaos and it's very accurate which is why it's so funny i think that pervades in israeli supermarkets it's very funny very clever i like it a lot um can have it up on youtube but not with english subtitles apparently high films this is what they told me on reddit i don't know if that's the case for sure and they say they have shabab nikim as well and again i mentioned at the start of this video this is not an exhaustive list because i don't want to speak for 30 minutes, I just want to give some starting resources for folks who are either starting out learning Hebrew and they want to learn through TV shows, or they're like me, maybe more upper beginner intermediate speakers. Um, I hope this has been useful. This is the best of my knowledge only. If there are shows I missed out on, uh, I don't know about, please let me know in the comments or link them. The more material that's out there for all of us learning Hebrew, absolutely the better. It just, uh, that's literally, you can just spend a whole day watching and learning almost through uh, osmosis thank you guys for watching this video if you'd like to get more videos from me about living in israel technology videos and all other things i post about on this channel uh, please subscribe have a great day